Hey everyone, it's Joe, aka The Trash Bandit. Today we're actually going to do a combination of two days. We're going to do Saturday and Sunday all together in one, and you'll see that, you'll be watching that on Monday. So it's going to be what sold, and it's also going to be what we found, uh, good, uh, Goodwill or Thrifting, so Daily Thrift Finds, and also uh, Marketplace Sales. So we'll get that all to you right now, coming up next. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like comp con Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like content like this. Thanks. All right. Decided to make a load of stuff that we just didn't feel like selling or not selling fast enough and uh, sending it to uh, Goodwill today, so we got this truckload of stuff that's gonna be, be being donated. So it's gonna allow us to work on cleaning up this mess that's in here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, I got a few more shelves I'm gonna put in, and I'm gonna start. I got a lot more bins. Uh, I got some bins there and some bins over here. And I'm going to start binning things up and we're going to have bins of unlisted stuff. And then we'll get that stuff listed and move it into bins of listed items. So that's kind of the game plan right now. Alright, so we're going to do what's sold coming up here. Uh, before we do that though, I'm just going to let you guys know that we're going to take the week off of trash picking this week. I know we haven't had a great, uh, great time trash picking the last uh, two weeks. So we're actually going to take the week off this week and we're going to focus on cleaning up the garage and getting stuff listed on eBay. That's going to be our primary focus for this week. Uh, let me just show you around here real quick. I've already started uh, cleaning things up. If you take a look here, I went ahead and added uh, two more shelves. I don't know if you remember, but we found these two shelves uh, along the curb. Uh, this one actually is missing two of the poles. To hold up the top uh, shelf so I'm gonna keep an eye out for two of those plastic poles or I can always make some out of some uh, PVC of some sort just have to measure it and see what, what type it is but I've actually uh, found that this uh, top PVC piece right here actually makes a good uh, spinner for my uh, bubble wrap so for now that's just a bubble wrap holder uh, until I get the uh, other shelves so all this stuff that you see here is pretty much items that we have uh, gotten at Goodwill, um, either taken out of our house, uh, like some of these games right here, my wife just cleaned out the closet and she gave them to me, so we're going to list them probably in one big lot, uh, maybe Facebook Marketplace, because they're unless they have any value on eBay, but most of those probably don't. And we have like um, Wii Balance Boards that we've been getting at different thrift stores, just tons of stuff, shoes, ice skates all kinds of stuff we got from thrift stores, all kinds of stuff we got from yard sales. So we have that all there. It needs to all be listed. These tubs are actually filled with clothing and wallets and purses and uh, swords from the storage unit. And I think this one here has a ton of yard sale stuff that's actually some really good stuff in that tub. And we've never listed it. So we've been, so we have a lot of uh, listing to do. So that's going to be my focus is getting things organized, getting things listed. Uh, we have all the Apple stuff, like right here, two tubs of Apple stuff that we picked up at the curb. Well, we need to get that listed. Um, over here on this side, I'll show you that I've actually started binning things up. I'm out of bins that fit on these shelves, so I need to get some more of those. But here you can see, here's a whole bunch of stuff, yard sale stuff. Uh, that we've been that we've been picking up. Here's a ton of tie babies and different types of stuff. Here's the coffee mugs that we got. This this is filled with miscellaneous uh, stuff in here. Clothing. This is uh, Christmas clothing that we got one time. And then down there's a whole bag of uh, backpacks and stuff. So all that stuff needs to get listed. Uh, but we did start cleaning out that section. I did put a lot of board games here uh, this this section here I did not clean out yet and the rest of this I didn't clean out yet either so but I'm just starting to clean things out we still have this whole section over here 
um, this section here and all this stuff that was it's kind of a mixture some of its flea market some of its not so it's a mixture right now this is this these four bins down here these two and the two down below, below plus this bin right here uh, on top are all listed on eBay so those uh, I want to keep going here I'm gonna clean all this stuff out put this bin up there and then clean this stuff out and keep putting my eBay listed bins over here and this particular shelf will move and this table will go in there and it'll be our shipping table shipping and listing table and that one is getting moved probably is going to come over here somewhere and I have a lot of boxes that I gotta find a home for and most of those boxes actually are flat rate I was trying to order I was doing trial and error and I was ordering the wrong dang boxes and I don't know how I ended up ordering so many but I have a lot of boxes there and I'm not really going to use the flat rates that much I don't think uh, these boxes here are the two that I use the most and I don't have that many of those so I'm probably going to have to order some more of those and keep a few of these somewhere now, I might have to I don't know if I can take them back to the post office or what but uh, something's going on there with those I got to do something with those because I have too many of them so and then I just got I got a lot of big boxes here that I've been keeping just in case I need them for something but I need to flatten those out and put them somewhere so I'm gonna clean this whole section out get this toolbox that's down here um, get that back there somewhere and then this is gonna then I'm gonna build feet for this table in here so that's kind of the game plan this stuff all up here uh, the bed needs to be put together and, and photo photographed for sale this particular shelving unit is gonna be sold that basket's going to be sold. That scooter is going to be sold. Weed whacker is going to be sold. So, got a lot of work to do. But yeah, that's just kind of a uh, walk around. I, you know, this is the first time that I've had this much open space. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the first time that I've had this much floor open space in a long time. Uh, I know it's kind of ridiculous to say that when you look around here and see how much junk there is. But this is this is actually making progress even though it does not really look like it. So, all right, so let's uh, talk about the items that we got at the Goodwill store. At, I think it was hmm, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday we went to Goodwill. So these are the items that we picked up. And uh, let's just start with this one. This is the Chicago Cutlery uh, block. We paid Actually, I already took the sticker off. Let me grab my notebook. I just started a notebook to write it down. Chicago Cutlery. Hmm. Where the heck is it? I didn't write it down. Okay, so maybe I'm confusing myself here. Did I already show that? Hold on, let me get my bearings here i'll be right back okay so okay so that's my bad this is already listed and i just i had it up above on a shelf and i accidentally pulled i pulled it down earlier today and it got mixed in with these items so my mistake that item was not one of the ones we have already shown that in a previous video all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven items that we uh, got a goodwill on Saturday all right so the first one is this easy mole trap I thought it was kind of a unique item something that you don't see all the time so we went ahead and picked it up for $3.99 I think that we can probably uh, sell that I'm not sure what the price will be but um, I can't remember what the what the uh, let's just take a look eBay. Filter. Sold. All right, so brand new, they're bringing about thirty dollars. Pre-owned, they're giving about well twenty dollars plus shipping. So. There's one that was nine dollars plus shipping more recently. So probably I'm thinking 
That's probably a $10 to $15 item plus shipping. Uh, maybe a little more if the person, you know, needs it at that given time. All right, then we got the Hearthstone shortbread mold. We paid $2.99 for that. I saw some uh, pretty decent... Pretty decent um, comps on that, so we decided to get it. I mean, nothing was really, like, out of this world. Uh, they were mostly, you know, like, 10 to $20 items plus shipping. You know that we're that we're looking at here, and then this John Deere tin, we got that for ninety nine cents. It's really not that big of a seller. This particular, I didn't see that too many of this particular one, but I think that it might be like a six to eight dollar item, maybe ten dollar tops. This is one of my favorite uh, items that I that I picked up is the mini cutoff saw from Harbor Freight. It's uh, item number 42307. It's got a little cutoff blade here. And uh, I did try this. It does it is it is does work. But it's basically just a, a mini cutoff saw with a little uh, vice built in. But yeah, that was uh six ninety nine I believe. Let me double check that. I took it was in a bag and I took the bag and off already, so the mini cutoff saw from Harbor Freight, yeah, six ninety nine. Yep, so six ninety nine on this, and those are selling for like twenty five dollars, I believe, twenty twenty five dollars, maybe a little more plus shipping. So that was a good find, and and since it does work, I I'm really happy about that. So uh, I don't I, I don't really use a, a tool like that very often, uh, so I probably won't keep that for myself. I'll probably sell that. I have other cutoff tools. I have air cutoff tools and stuff that I can use. So. I don't, I don't do enough stationary like cutting of small stuff like that. So just get rid of that. I think. I do like to keep tools though, especially if something I would use. We got this uh, Budweiser 2013 Holiday Stein. It's really kind of kind of nice. Still got paperwork inside. For $2.99, I went ahead and picked that up. That's probably a $10 to $15 item on eBay. And then we got the $20,000 Pyramid. Uh, this is $1.99 on this. There wasn't very many good comps on this, but I picked it up anyways just because it's pretty vintage looking. And I thought it would be uh, a nice item just to have in my eBay store with my other games. This old McDonald game actually had some good comps. And I only paid $0.99 cents for that. So let's look that, let's look that up real quick. Let me see if it has a barker that I can scan. Yeah, it does. Alright, so let's just scan that. Alright, so Old McDonald Games. Let's go ahead and change the filter to sold items. Alright, so, and let's just sort this. There's only three of them, but let's sort it to the most recent. Alright, on 9 2, brand new, $25. But pre-owned is trending at $22.25. So right here it is, $20. And it's trending at $22.25. So we paid a dollar. No, no, we paid $0.99. Cents, $0.99 cents for a game that's selling for $20 to $22. Plus shipping. So I don't know if it's all in there, but we will find out later when we start to do our listing process. All right, sorry sliders. I picked that up for a dollar ninety nine. It had some okay comps, nothing's really great, but it was something something unique. And I think that what I from what I've seen was is they don't make this anymore, and people were looking for it. So not at a great, like I said, not at a high high price, but it's definitely something that worth picking up for a dollar ninety nine. I got guess who because it was ninety nine cents. Uh, guess who does not have very good comps? I think they're it's like a seven eight dollar game plus shipping if I remember right but I saw people selling parts to it and doing okay and I thought you know I'll take the chance for 99 cents 
I can either sell some parts or maybe sell the game. And then I also picked up this game of Sorry. Somebody wrote on the front, but I picked it up anyways because it's pretty, pretty old. And it had it's a dollar ninety nine on that one, and it had some comps that were pretty, pretty good. Like I think like twenty dollars, ten to twenty dollars. So that's, I got that. And then the uh, Big Math Billy Bass I picked up. I don't have the batteries for this. It requires C batteries, and I don't have any C batteries. I actually need to pick up some C batteries because I also want to test. I have somewhere over here. I have uh, what was it? The Scooby Doo Racetrack. Yeah. So I want to test this and make sure this works before I sell it. And that needs C batteries too. And so that I'm really excited about that. I want to play with that a little bit <laughs> before I sell it. But yeah. So I need C batteries for that, and I need C batteries for this. So I'm gonna go pick up some C batteries sometime soon and test some of this stuff out and get it get it listed. So. Um, I'm not going to list the, the fish yet, uh, but they actually had some, the big mouth, uh, let me type that in here real quick, let me change hands, big mouth billy bass, alright, so if I filter that down to sold, there's 759 results and use there's 539 all right so and since we're going to sort that by most recent so pre-owned the one that i have right there you can see was sold 27 dollars plus shipping and then uh that one says germany though so i'm not sure why that was so much more money and then there's one for 12.99 plus 870 but then there's another one in no, it does not say Germany. It says Jemmy. Uh, G E M M Y. That must be uh, the company that makes it or something. So, there's another one for 35. 25. I think it's a pretty good find, I think. Because you can see here that they're selling pre owned for definitely $20 to $30. Yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm I'm happy with that. Fine. So, and we paid two ninety nine for that. So, that is everything we found in the good wall, Goodwill Hall, our thrifting finds of the day. Uh, brought you a lot more than just one to begin the day, and. Actually, on on Monday, I'll be hitting a Goodwill store again on my lunch break, and we'll see what we can find then. If we do not find anything for any ch any chance, I do have a f some items on standby that we have uh, I have a, I have here that I found in the past that I haven't shown you guys yet. That we're kind of we I have probably enough to cover like a week. Probably have seven items that I've been holding back just in case I don't find something. I can show you one or two of those items. But yeah, so I, I've been going pretty much every day during the week. I've been going on Saturdays, and then, like like I said with this video, Saturday and Sunday, I'm just kind of combining our videos together uh, so that I have a day off. So, All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, get this stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove... I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, stickers right now, and I'm going to use my plastic scraper and my mini heat gun. Uh, those... Uh, makes the process of removing the goodwill price tags so much faster so i'm going to remove all of them right now and then i'll probably list these and then as soon as i'm done listing these items then i will do um you know it'll be instantaneous for you but i mean coming up next is going to be what sold okay so let's go ahead and do what sold let's start with macari we had one macari sale and that is a pair of supergirl slippers we got these at a yard sale i think I think I paid two dollars for them one or two dollars I can't really remember somewhere in that area but we got an offer on them uh, the offer was for let's take a look and see here uh, nine dollars so they're gonna charge me 90 cents fee 460 shipping I make three dollars and fifty cents subtract out what I paid for them 
I might have made 250 or 150, something like that. So it's not like a great deal, but uh, at least uh, we made some money, whether or not it was much or not. So let's go ahead and uh, put these in a mailer. I'm gonna bubble wrap them. Gonna bubble wrap them, put them in a mailer, or put the sticker on there, and they can just go in the mailbox tomorrow morning. All right, so let's uh, take care of that, and then we'll take a look at the eBay sales. All right, so we got two eBay sales going out. One is the Holy Bible on cassette tape, King James Version. That's in the Pac-Man band. That's going out for $12 plus shipping. It's sort of $25.71. Buyers all in at $25.71. And then the other order is in our Donkey Kong bin. That's a Transformers uh, PSP game. And we got an offer on that for $1.75. I went ahead and took that because I don't think it's worth much. So total buyer all in at $6.50. I paid a dollar for that game, sold it for dollar seventy-five. After fees, probably not going to make much, but at least we're getting our money back out of it. And those are the two sales. So all in at thirty-two twenty-one. Let's go ahead and grab those real quick and get them packaged up. So Donkey Kong, Transformers, Pac-Man. All right. So let's take a look here. Okay, there is the Transformers game. And down here, right there is the Bible on cassette. I still got some more stuff. I got all this listed, but it needs to go up here somewhere. I just have to uh, get some more tubs that fit on the shelves and get things all set up the way I want. Alright, so these two items, I'm going to go ahead and package them up right now, and I'll let you know when that's all done. Alright, we have a Facebook Marketplace sale today. It's going to be the Lacrosse Net going out for $25. Uh, we're going to meet them here uh, very, very soon, so that's our first sale of the day on Saturday. Okay, so total sales for Saturday and Sunday, uh, $66.21 total sales. So that's uh, $25 on Facebook Marketplace, uh, $9 on Macari, and the rest of it on eBay. So a total of $66.21. So not great, but you know, I'll take it. Uh, work, work in progress. So we got a lot more stuff to list, so hopefully we'll start to see more sales. All right, thanks for watching. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like content like this and the bell for notifications. And hit the like button if you like the video. And also leave some comments and we'll be sure to answer. Thanks again.